7.2a solutions of equations in two variables. We can see if an ordered pair is a solution to an equation. For an equation with one variable like 3x plus 1 equals 13, we can find that x equals 4. 3 times 4 is 12, plus that 1 equals 13. That's kind of easy. For an equation with two variables like y equals 2x plus 4, there can be many solutions that can be written as ordered pairs. And we write the solutions in alphabetical order, so our ordered pairs will be x and then y. x is always listed first. So even though this equation has the y first, we know we can rewrite this with the equals y at the back, couldn't we? But the x is always written first in the ordered pair. And the solution to this ordered pairs, whatever these numbers are, will make this equation true. So let's try doing this. So we got y equals 2x plus 4. Which numbers will make this equation true? We can list the ordered pairs in what's called a function table. That's this, with x on the left and y on the right. And you don't have to put a box around it. People usually just make a t and then put the x on the left and the y on the right. So we can start by plugging a 0 in for x and see what that gives us for y so we can complete our table. If x is a 0, then that means we have 2 times 0 plus 4. See? 2 times 0 plus 4. On 0 plus 4, our y value would be a 4, so we write the 4 in our table. And if the x value is a 1, then we have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4, then our y value is 6, and we can write that into our table. If x is a 2, then we have 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4. That makes the y value an 8, and we can write that into our table. Now, do you see what's happening? We're going up by 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Well, that's what we chose to do. That's what I chose to plug in for the x values. But it's making the y values go up by 2. Now, do you know why it's doing that? 4, 6, 8, 10? Because this x is multiplied by 2. That's why this is y is going up by 2. And it can go down by 2 as this goes down by 1. If we go 1 less than 0, that's a negative 1 then this y value will be 2 less. So 2 less than 4 is 2. So we'd have a negative 1 and a positive 2. If we went down 1 more from negative 1 to negative 2, that would make the y value a 0. And if we went down 1 more to negative 3, that would make the y value a negative 2. It's still going down by 2. See? How about this one? Will the ordered pair negative 2, 5 be a solution for this equation? All we have to do is write it underneath it with those numbers plugged in to those values. So for x, we put a negative 2, and for y, we put a 5, and we solve it. 2 times 5 is 10, so this side of the equal sign is a 10. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. We take the 5 away and get negative 11, so no, this is false. This ordered pair is not a solution. See? It's false. We can find the solution to an equation with two variables by choosing a value for one variable, usually the x, but if the y is easier, start with the y and substituting and computing the value of the other variable. So look at this one. We've got y minus 3x equals negative 2. So we can make our function table, and it's usually easier to assign a 0 for x first. So let's do that. And we're going to put an x here for, we're going to put a 0 here for the x. We get 3 times 0 is 0. So what number can we have that we can take a 0 away from and have a negative 2? Well, negative 2 take away 0 is negative 2. So that's our y value, negative 2. And if x were a 1, we would be taking away 3 to get to a negative 2. Well, that would give us a positive 1. And we take 3 away, that gets us a negative 2. So we have, now we have 1 for x and 1 for y. And we can continue up or down and with an infinite amount of solutions, both negative and positive. If uh, x is a 2, what can we take away 6 from to get to a negative 2? It would be a positive 4, see? And if you have to use a number line to help you do it, then do it until you start getting used to this. But we can go infinitely into the negatives or positives with our function table with our solutions, our ordered pairs. Now, because there's two variables, we can find many, many ordered pairs that will fit as a solution. And what we can do with those ordered pairs, because we learned about plotting points, we can actually plot their points on a coordinate plane and connect them to make a straight line. That's why this type of equation is called a linear equation. And if you look at the word linear, it's got the word line in it. See? 
So that linear equation can be plotted on a coordinate plane, and we're going to do that in the next video. 7.2b, we're going to be graphing equations, and if you want to review, or if you haven't seen plotting points, the coordinate planes and terminology, and the quadrants of a coordinate plane, those links will be in this description. And if you haven't seen these, or you don't know what they are, it's really important that you watch those for a few minutes. They're not very long. Before you get into graphing equations, otherwise you could get lost, okay? All right, let's graph some equations. I'll see you there. Bye.